Hey guys, welcome back to Afternoon Break. Well, I'm right here at Burnt Church Distillery and I've got the one, the only Jackson, a pretty impeccable champion, if you will, bartender. And you are in fact making the champion. What are we uh, concocting here? Yes, ma'am. So uh, my name is Jackson. I'll be taking care of all this evening. This is going to be our uh, cucumber black pepper gin. We're going to use two ounces of this in our shaker tin. So we do make this here actually. Um, this is actually one of our original products here. We've been open for about two and a half years now, but this is actually one of our original products and probably our, one of our best selling products as well for you. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of lime juice. We're gonna do about 0.75 ounces of this lime juice, fresh lime, All right. fresh squeeze our juices every day. And here is our house-made honey syrup. We do 0.75 ounces of this as well. Okay. And then we're also gonna do some pretty basil leaves in this cocktail as well for you. We're just going to shake this up a good bit. Now, I noticed you have some love potion up here. I was going to say, yeah, we got some love <laughs> potion bitters for you. Basically, what this bitters is, you can buy this online on Amazon, anything. Uh, this is going to be more of a uh, fruity bitter for you. It's going to have a lot of strawberry, a little bit of passion fruit, um, a little bit of herbs to it as well with mint, uh, but all around really good bitters for a cocktail. It really balances out the drink for you. Perfect. And we're going to do about four dashes of those all for right. us, y'all. I'm going to give this a good shake. That's a good shake. Thank you, I appreciate now, it. Now the distillery is known for whiskey. Yes. But I see we're making a cocktail with gin. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know what? What is it about the gin that makes it special here? Um, I think I think the gin here we do. So usually what we do here is a lot of history involved with our whiskeys mm -hmm. and gins and everything yeah. as well. Uh, we actually we actually have our. Um, Gin, the Devil's Elbow Gin, it's kind of a historical background to it as well. The mm -hmm. Devil's Elbow area is pretty much the uh, Collison River area, mm -hmm. and we involved that history with the Devil's Elbow Gin, kind of making an important uh, historical right. thing with Bluffton. So it's more itself. than a drink, you're learning a story. I exactly, yes, ma'am. And, that, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much all of our liquors here have a little bit of a backstory for you, which so is this nice. So it's called the Champion, yes, and there's something a little special about this drink. Talk yes. about that. Yes, so uh, we do a charity pretty much every month with uh, Sean mm -hmm. Billy Watson. The owners here. Uh, they they love to get back to our community always. So the mission is to connect, empower, and, and launch. The uh, charity itself really helps a lot of uh, local business owners try to start their own business. It's really about giving back. Yeah, Well, exactly. cheers to that. Cheers to the champion. Yes, ma'am. Cheers to you. Thank you. Cheers to you. Now, each month, the distillery recognizes local nonprofit organizations doing great work to address immediate needs throughout their community. In support of those efforts, the distillery donates 5% of their monthly revenue to pre-selected charities. For this month, they recognize Low Country Legacy Fund. So cool. Yeah. I, lo I love that when you can combine yes. stuff like that people already love and then, you know, make it... You feel even better about what you do. Yeah, right? it really enhances that experience. You can enjoy your beverage and just think, okay, this is this is helping someone else as well. Yeah, so, honey, I stayed for another drink for a good for, cause. For a good cause, yeah. they can literally use <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, they're doing great work over there. We had fun. I love it. Yeah, great drink maybe to start your weekend. Mm -hmm, off. That's right. Well, don't forget, you still got time to weigh in on our trivia question. It was, what country is credited with inventing?